Death comes to us in many forms, but timely intervention can prevent some of them. Malaria takes its toll each year on many, leading to death of one person in Ghana every three hours. In 2009, 3,000 people in Ghana died from malaria, and most of them were children. When you get malaria, especially for children under five years, if you don't act fast, that child will be lost within 48 hours, that is within two days. Malaria starts as simple. When we say simple, it's just a fever, we all know headaches, and then the shiverings. But if you don't treat it, that will progress to what we call severe malaria. Severe malaria can cause brain damage, leaving the patient with permanent learning disabilities, physical weakness, and emotional problems. Sometimes the parasites actually go into the brain. And when they go into the brain, we call that cerebral malaria. But the background to saying that all this is severe malaria is that there must be parasites that we can say is the cause of this. For cerebral malaria cases, if we don't treat fast, the child will go into coma. If we are fortunate enough and that child does not die and recovers, about 9% of those who recover, they end up with what we call permanent deficits. Now, some of the permanent disabilities include even epilepsy. Some of them may not be able to concentrate well when they go to school. Up north in the Tolong Kumbungu district, we hit the town of Kumbungu to have a chat with Aisha Tu and her daughter Memuna Tu, who also suffers as a result of severe malaria. Psychiatrists and caregivers have sustained their supportive roles in the communities. I do home visits to educate patients to know much about the malaria and epilepsy, which is one of the conditions which people are not aware. Now, if you look at the epilepsy case, in all the psychiatric cases, there is a great increase, all because now we have mosquitoes all the year round. Quick treatment within 24 hours with recommended malaria medicines will curb danger signs like extreme high fever, convulsion, and extreme weakness once the malaria is fully treated. We can all come together to drive malaria away. There has been tremendous progress made in Ghana in the fight against malaria. Many more people are sleeping under treated bed nets, the most effective way to prevent malaria. More people are treating malaria early and fully with ACTs, the recommended malaria medicine. More pregnant women and their unborn children are being protected from malaria with free medicine available at antenatal clinics. However, there is still a long way to go before we win the fight against malaria. Let's come together to drive malaria away for good life. Good life goes with good health. This message is by the Ghana Health Service and the USAID.